Oh no! Gotta get a clamp. <laughs> this is when it gets fun. That one wants to bounce a little bit, so you gotta bring a clamp in. Oh, it's beautiful. A block of wood is never just a block of wood. It's a starting line. It's alive with possibility. Listen carefully. It's saying something softly. Let's do something. Alright, so these sliding dovetails are notorious for sticking and binding while you're trying to glue them up. So you've got to make sure that you have them loose enough, dry, and then the glue will swell and you have all that glue surface. So you don't want to be caught without them fully seated. So I'm taking that extra precaution. I've learned the hard way. Helps take the cover off. Don't need a ton of glue here. I'm also using Type On 3, a glue that gives you a little more open time so you can get this in position before it grabs. All right. Make sure that dovetail is facing up. <laughs> Just a touch. Nice. That was relatively stress-free. It can be worse. All right, all right. So we used to repair a lot of antique chests down in Pug Shop, and one of the common issues were because it's a wood-on-wood -wood runner to the drawer side, the runners would typically be dished out after years of use, and also the drawer sides would be also worn away. So rather than gluing these to the side uh, or gluing them into a large frame. We, I'd prefer to have this floating runner here that attaches into the front and the back with just a tenon. And having that tenon in the front and back aligns them perfectly because our jig referenced the same way in the front and the back. So there's no need to square the runners. Everything just aligns. And then I put two screws right in the middle, which act as a cleat to reinforce the side a bit, and also allows for seasonal wood movement. The side's gonna expand and contract, and we're gonna leave a little gap at the front and the back, and this back divider never actually gets glued in. So someday, when someone's repairing this, 
they can just slide out that back and remake the, the runner and reinstall and be good to go. So we got to think about the people down the road. So we also need to add this center drawer guide to split these top two drawers. So I've got another piece here that has a tenon on the front, which will be glued into the back of this center divider. And then the back will rest on that back divider and I'll have a slotted screw in there. And this will also rest on hard maple runner that's screwed to the bottom so that it can be replaced in the future too, if it needs to. So I'll get scooted right into the front, lock it in, and it'll just rest gently back here on that divider, allowed to expand and contract underneath. So we're ready to glue up the base. You know, a lot of pieces like tables and chairs, they're all about mortise and tenons. But as you might have picked up by now, a chest of drawers is all about dovetails. I mean, you've got the cases dovetailed, the drawer dividers are dovetailed into the case, and the drawers, of course, are dovetailed. But on this piece, we're even dovetailing the base. So we've got this sweet arched base with these nice full dovetails through three quarter inch cherry. And we're gonna glue those up now. And by the time we get to the end of building a chest of drawers like this, it's like you went to school on cutting dovetails. And it's a great way to get a feel for it, to build a chest of drawers. Yeah, that's right. 
Oh, I thought I faced it the wrong way. <laughs> For a second, I was like, I didn't do that bad a job, did I? There we go. Nice. All right. All right, there we go. Now we just want to check for square. I'll oh, flip this over. Doesn't really need to stay in the clamps too long. Hook right on the corner. Three, four and a quarter strong. 44 and a quarter, an extra 64th strong. So I'll go like this. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Actually, I better check that. Ah, of course, it's perfect. <laughs> no, it, it actually is good. All right, I'm gonna put on some good old fashioned glue blocks. This will help to attach the base to the case. Uh, this frame is slightly underneath the case by about an eighth of an inch. So the glue blocks give you some more solid footing. And these little corner blocks, which I use cross grain construction all the way up, those will be like nice posts in the corner under the case. Now the reason I did that was to keep the grain oriented the same way as the foot itself. As you get up over six to seven inch feet like this, with short grain, I get a little concerned about running just a straight cross grain corner post glue block. So by doing that, you alleviate any concern there. This will expand and contract slightly along with the foot. So I'm just gonna put a little glue here. And then the only other special specialized thing is these slotted glue blocks, which I'm going to put in the back to allow the case to expand and contract seasonally where the front glue blocks will be glued to the case and holding it uh, securely in the front with the cove molding will attach later on top. Let's get this one in the center first. You don't need a ton of glue on these. I like to just eyeball it and rub fit and then get a little spring clamp on it. I'm going to check to be sure that it's flush in a minute. Let's see right about here. And let's get a corner block in. I make these corner blocks out of a large block, about two and a half inches square pieces and just stack them up, glue them up, and then you can bandsaw them apart or rip them on the table saw once you've jointed. So a nice rub fit, spreads the glue. You feel it kind of seize up. Then you put a little clamp pressure for a bit and it'll be there for years. Let me get one more on here. We'll flip it over and check for flush. Nice. Important thing is not to glue them to the table just yet. <laughs> and get rid of some of that glue. Make sure nothing's gonna stick here. And even if they're slightly off, if they're a little heavy, you can just block plane them later. That's what I do. And we'll keep going like this till we get them all on. And then we'll be ready to attach it to our case. <laughs>